Hello, the new divers. I'm Rebecca. I'm Carl. And this is what we got from Anime Next. Um, we went to Anime Next on Friday, June 6th, so we didn't have a lot of videos up except, except Dark Souls. So we're going to show you what we got, and then later we're going to show you some pictures of things that we saw. You going to do your stuff? Yeah, we can do my stuff first. Yep. <laughs> this is a figurine of Eren from Attack on Titan. He's kind of like going like this. Uh, I don't know where you can get this actually, because it's in, all in Japanese. I'm fairly certain if you go, if you type in the normal figurine circles, the yeah, ones that think they... make them in Japan, then you're gonna you're gonna search this one up. Just look by the box because you know if we open it, we're gonna ruin the fucking value. So screw that. Uh, I believe this was forty. I was gonna get Mikasa too, but she was fifty, and by the time I'd already gotten around to buying this stuff, I was like out of money. So. And if you're like, <laughs> if you're one of the people like me who hasn't watched Attack on Titan yet, it's not a flavor of the month anime. Yeah, you know, it's, it's big stuff. I got this Titan figurine. He hasn't watched it, so I'm not going to say more than that, but it's really cool. It's a simple bust. It's not that... I can cover my ears. It's not that fancy or whatever. It's actually kind of plasticky as far as the sand goes, but the bust is really cool, and it was only $30, so it was the first thing I bought. I love Attack on Titan, so. I actually cosplayed as a scout regiment member, and so did a million other people, so. <laughs> you special snowflake. Right? Alright, the next things I bought, this, I'll show you, I'll put the pictures up instead of opening these, because I haven't opened them yet. This is a Fully Cooly wall scroll, and then this one, the Attack on Titan wall scroll. Can't wait to put them up. It's gonna be awesome. Okay. No, that's oh, that's easily gonna fuck it up. Like, <laughs> right? You're doing it with force. <laughs> really coolly, and we already have like two T-shirts, but I got a Takoon T-shirt. It fits really well. I haven't washed it yet, so I'll put it in the bag. I have these next items I got from this store called Chanchi.com. They had their own little panel there. I got the gym badges from Pokemon. They're really cool. They're pins. Oh I, yeah. I saw them once before on some guy's backpack at school, and I was like, "Where did you get them?" Mm -hmm. And I saw them, so I bought them right away. They were twenty dollars each, but I had to have them. Well, now you have so all the badges. $40. So yes. Not all of them, obviously, but you got a fuck yeah, they ton had, of badges. They had a bunch more. They had like a million more, and I also bought this necklace from them. It is the Kokiri gem, the forest gem from Zelda. They also had the ruby and the sapphire. Um, they were $20 each though, so I only got one. You can buy them off their website too, so you don't gotta worry about going to a con to see them. So I'm gonna put this back on. Alright, so I went in with the goal, the express goal, to blow through $200 the fastest I can. <laughs> and, uh, mission accomplished. I went and got myself the import of the prequel to Hotel Dusk, if you've ever played it from, uh, from Sing. C-I-N-G. Mm -hmm. They made a bunch of fucking awesome games for the DS, but uh, they don't exist anymore. And uh, some of their games never came out in America. Like this one, Last Window, fucking awesome. Uh, don't look on Amazon for it, because you'll get raped. Oh yeah, we got it for like 40 online. I think it was like 75 Uh, And it should be said that I successfully haggled pretty much. He did everything there. Yeah. So. Except for like two people who just didn't want to haggle. Um, pretty much everyone wanted to make a deal, so. I mean, don't be like a, a dick about it. Yeah. Just be like, if things are going for like, 75 I want to give you my money, so how can we make this happen? Yeah, I want to walk away yeah. with, a, with a deal. So, you know, don't be an asshole about it. Just that's that. Alright, moving on. Uh, she got this. The world ends with you. I haven't played it. I heard a lot of great things about it. I've always wanted to, and I Obviously, saw it. Obviously, so. we know what it is. I don't know more than oh, it's a square game, and it's you know people talk about it. I like staying blind like that. How much was like. that one? I know this is twenty. Right, this one was twenty. Last window was forty. Yeah, yeah, and then it was like tax. Yeah. So everything we bought had some tax on it. Uh, if you haven't played. Shenmue, then it's a good thing you're watching a gaming channel. <laughs> this is pretty much like a the best Dreamcast game. So everybody Obviously besides Seaman, of course. Uh well that goes without saying. <laughs> and Sonic Adventure. Or Omicron. And this is one that I bet people are gonna shit themselves. Uh this was relatively new. Uh Police Knots. It's Kojima. It's what he did 
slightly before Metal Gear Solid, and it never came out in America, and it's pretty damn awesome if you're in those Japanese visual novel circles. If you're not, then... It's <laughs> then, oh well, okay. Obscure. Look it up, Wikipedia, it. Manliness, berserk. If you've ever heard of it, lucky you, because I haven't. I've only heard things. So, people say it's manliness incarnate. People say it's, like, in a bad comparison, it's like Dark Souls. <laughs> and, like, Dragon's Dogma with the medieval type of fucking skeleton rape and, you know, skeleton getting shot in the face with a crossbow. Manliness. Got seven billion needles. Uh, this is what we need, like, Dave on for. Right. He knows this shit. I don't know anything about it. I just look at it and call it cool. I'm so empty when it comes to knowledge with this stuff. <laughs> That's why I bought it. So I could just discover what it's about. Maybe I like it, maybe I don't. Either way, it looks dope, and I need more books. So, it's called Beck. It's pretty cool. It's music, uh, band manga, like gigs and stuff. And we're all musically inclined to a degree. So, I got a novelization of Fooly Cooly, mm -hmm. which I think I already own. No, we. I got you the first two, and then I got no. no I got no, you the no, second no, no, one no, no, and no. an alternate cover for the first. It was a mistake, and it should have came in this bad boy, which you're never gonna find again, the ultimate box. And I thought this is what I was talking about, but never mind. I got myself Excel Saga number one. You ever see it? Nope. Wacky shit. All around, just you know how Katamari's kind of like wacky. Mm -hmm. Same thing. I don't need to explain what this is. It's number one. We have it in issues, but manga's nice too. And there's something called the Seven Magi. I have no idea what this is. So it's a number one. They didn't have too many number ones, like jumping off starting points. So. And I got the heavy High School of the Dead color edition. This was. $15 off. Haggles. Yeah. It's heavy. It's filled with violence and And it's all in color. Yes. Naked women. Pretty so. awesome. I think the last and most important thing we have to show you guys <laughs> This is Puff Cake. Ellie Puff Cake. And she was a nice old $23 haggled down from $25. <laughs> We wanted to get, they have like a bigger one than this, and it looked like a melted marshmallow, and it was so cute. So, so we I had love to get you, just not for $25. Not for your size, yeah. Anyway. So that's all we got from Anime Next. We're going to include some pictures, some people we saw, some things that happened. And, uh, yeah. Sorry about the delay in videos, but they will resume on Monday. So we will see you guys later.